everybody. Okay, we are approaching Cambridge City, Indiana. Wow, they didn't take no time to get here, man. Real cool. I love this pickup and deliver straight through the same day. All right, we are just about a mile and a half away from the uh, customer. Oh, look, they even got a McDonald's over there. Actually, my dad called McDonald McGrease. <laughs> anyway, that's a different story. Hey, I'm a big fan of uh, McDonald breakfast, so... Eh, that's about it, though. believe I've ever stopped you before. Okay, we are to make a right on Harris Road. And best. This is it? No, no, this is a... That's got to be it over there. That's got to be it. better get off the air before somebody gets really upset. You know how that is, right? Peace. Hey, everybody. Okay, we have been assigned to door six. So where is door six? That's nine, so either that's ten or seven or eight. There it is. Okay. We can't break the seal. This is a uh, a customer seal verified facility, I guess. You know, why can't everybody just build a facility like this? It's so nice and and clean and uh, you know. This place almost looks like you could back in with the door closed. I don't know. Let's do one pull up. You know, I'm going to take a chance that this is a uh, back in with the door closed. But the trailer right next to me. He's got his doors open, so I don't know. Yeah, let's pull up. That way we could open the door. Okay, it's later. Peace. Yeah, I guess we had to open the doors, and I didn't pull out enough. There's a post 
that's going to prevent us from opening the door. So we got to pull out. Or should I say, we got to pull out. Pull out. Like those Canadians would say, pull out. Uh -huh. West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain. What was that, an eighth of an inch? That's it. Alright, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Guess what everybody, we're empty. By the way, I forgot to tell you, we only had, I don't know, about three, four pallets maybe? Five? It was a very, very short order. So what do you say? Yeah, let's stop right here and close our doors. Why are you stopping in the middle of the street? No, oh, I just didn't want anybody to uh, hold up anybody at the uh, gate. By the way, I, uh, I sent in a very complicated empty call. You want to know how complicated it was? Oh man, I actually had to open my text messages. And I had to text my boss, I'm empty. I know, it's so complicated, right? I mean... I kind of liked it with well because uh, well with well you had this whole number of information you had to enter and it was very entertaining right here you send in a text I'm empty it's so boring <laughs> See? Empty. That's how complicated this company is. <laughs> I got you going, then I. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. go back to the truck stop there and hang out for a little bit until our boss tells us to go elsewhere.
Okay, everybody's telling me about floating gears. I'm not exactly sure how what you guys are trying to tell me. Let's see if I could do it. Like that? Is that what it is? Is that what it is? I suspect that I've been doing it for 20 years. I just never, never uh, put a name to it. I'm not into the fancy names and whatever works, it works. Now, does that make me a less professional truck driver? I never claimed to be a professional one, although I did claim to be a professional steering wheel holder. Most of you guys remember that, right? I am a professional steering wheel holder. Although recently, since January, I've been doing a little bit of extra work, I guess. Having to shift gears and downshift. Oh, so much work to do. Let's see if we can do this. What's the difference between that right here? I even skipped the gear. shift there no this is not our no 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 wrong gate wrong door wrong wrong wrong, wrong. Uh -uh. we go here I think we can make it I think we can make it I'll keep you guys posted. Peace.